Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. A regulator is a device used to control and maintain the pressure of gases or liquids in various applications. There are single and two-stage regulators available, but most oxy-fuel cutting, heating, and welding applications only require single-stage regulators. A single-stage regulator will automatically increase outlet pressure as the cylinder pressure drops. A two-stage regulator outlet pressure will remain constant when the cylinder pressure drops. Let's walk you through how to identify the correct oxygen and fuel regulator model to use for your oxy-fuel cutting, heating, and welding applications. There are many considerations when choosing the right regulator for your oxy-fuel application. The type of fuel gas you will be using, the size of your oxygen and fuel cylinders, the gas flow and pressure requirements of the tips you will be using. You must first determine the type of fuel gas you'll be using with your application. Acetylene is one of the most common types of gases used in oxyfuel applications. However, LP gases such as propane, propylene, or natural gas can also be used. Acetylene and LP gases have different characteristics. Acetylene is not to be used at pressures higher than 15 psi as the gas can become unstable and explosive. The acetylene regulator outlet pressure gauge shows a red line above 15 psi, which indicates dangerous outlet pressures. It's common for LP gas regulators, such as propane regulators, to allow outlet pressures exceeding 50 psi. Because of this, you should never use an LP regulator with acetylene gas and always make sure to choose the right regulator for the fuel gas you're using. Once you know which fuel you'll be using, you will want to determine the size of the gas cylinder you will be connecting the regulator to in order to determine the inlet connection. There are several inlet connection types established by the CGA, the Compressed Gas Association. These are identified by a three-digit designation based on the size and type of gas cylinder you're connecting to. Acetylene regulators are available with four different CGA inlet connection types. CGA 200 for connecting to a 10 cubic foot MC acetylene cylinder. CGA 520 for connecting to a 40 cubic foot B acetylene cylinder. And CGA 30510 for connecting to larger acetylene cylinders. LP gases, such as propane or propylene, are available with a CGA 510 inlet connection, and all oxygen cylinder sizes used for oxyfuel cutting, heating, and welding applications use a CGA 540 connection as shown. After determining the proper CGA inlet fitting, you must then consider the gas pressure and flow requirements for the oxyfuel tip being used. All cutting, heating, and welding tip sizes have designated pressure recommendations and flow requirements, which will also help to determine the regulator model. For Smith tips, these can be found in the owner's manual. We will start by looking at the pressure requirements. You will want to compare the pressure requirements for your tip with the delivery pressure of your oxygen and fuel regulator. You can find the delivery pressure of Smith regulators either in the owner's manual or on the spec sheet on MillerWelds.com. The delivery pressure of the regulator should be the same or higher than the pressure requirement of your tip. Next, we will look at the flow requirements. You will also want to compare the flow requirements of your tip to the flow out of the regulator to determine if it has the flow capability necessary for your application. To find the flow of your regulator, you will want to look at its flow chart. For Smith regulators, this can be found on the spec sheet on MillerWelds.com. There are multiple ways to use a flow chart. Each method relies on a pair of known values, including the pressure and flow requirements for your application or tip. For example, Smith's SC12-1 cutting tip, cutting half-inch thick metal, will have a delivery pressure requirement of 10 PSIG and a consumption or flow requirement of 9.5 for the fuel regulator. For oxygen regulators, you'll want to add both cutting and preheat consumption together to get the flow requirement. Once you have these numbers, you can look at your flow chart. You will want to find the required delivery pressure on the vertical axis of your flow chart, then move horizontally across the chart 
until the line corresponding to the required delivery pressure intersects the curve corresponding to the inlet pressure. You will see that this fuel regulator will provide about 100 SCFH at the required delivery pressure. The flow for your regulator must meet or exceed the consumption of your tip. In this example, 100 SCFH provides more than enough flow for the application. Choosing the right regulator for your application can impact both quality and safety. Head to MillerWelds.com regulators to help you identify the regulator that will provide optimum performance for your operation. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our how-to video series to learn how to safely and effectively operate oxy fuel equipment.